to go on our first real holiday on a plane since COVID. Yes. Ah. It's a bit strange getting on a plane again uh, after COVID, but uh, looking forward to it. morning from Cairns, Australia. So here we are in far north Queensland. I haven't been here in about 20 years, um, but with COVID slamming shut international borders and making international travel, well, financially impossible. Why not see more of our own backyard? Uh, so here we are. Um, we're ready to explore the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, after living and growing up in Australia, I've never even seen the Great Barrier Reef or been there. Uh, it's funny, it's like, People I'd met in India never been to the Taj Mahal or a lot of people you'd meet in uh, US, even on the East Coast and the Midwest have never been to the Grand Canyon. It's always the way. Um, so maybe if nothing else, COVID will force us to explore more of our own backyards. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing one of the natural wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef. Okay, now enough frolicking in the hotel pool because one of the best places to swim in Cairns City is the lagoon. A beautiful man-made sandy bottom lagoon with lifeguards and shade areas right on the ocean's edge. Now there's more to do in Cairns than just swim. There's also great shopping like the Cairns night markets, as well as great food. A couple of our favorite restaurants were the Raw Prawn for delicious seafood, Soy Kitchen for awesome Asian street food, and the most unique, Prawn Star, where you eat fresh prawns on a boat in the harbor. Hi. Hi. I'm just feeling some prawns here. Yeah, but we're so eating. fresh. And we're eating the prawns. And there's a prawn mm. monster, monster here.
welcome to Great Island on the Great Barrier Reef. We're here on a day tour. This incredible island has quite sand beaches uh, as far as the eye can see, right in the middle of the ocean. It's only about 40 minutes to camp and it's an absolutely stunning place to spend the day, snorkel, swim, and like to eat a few beers and uh, enjoy paradise. into the rainforest here at a place called Kuranda, this little village uh, in the middle of the mountains. The, the sky rail is impressive. It's uh, about an hour and 15 minutes with two stops if you do the rainforest walks. Um, and just amazing gliding over these ancient rainforest canopies, past waterfalls, it's just great. Um, we're at the town in Kuranda now, the girls are off shopping and I'm uh, well having a beer because it's hot. So here I am in the main street of Karunda. It's, it's 2.25 and it's absolutely quiet. There's, I think I'm like the, the only person here. I think we're getting the last train back at 3.30, so maybe most people come early in the morning and then take off, but huh, let's check out the markets. Hey, Karunda is a lovely place, lovely little village, but a lot still closed because of COVID and um, yeah, it's it's lovely but I think this is definitely a day trip where it's much more about the journey, the sky rail and the train and the rainforest uh, than the destination itself. Not to say that it isn't what to do here. Here we are at Karunda Station, about to get the train back down through the mountain. It's like a very nice old fashioned train station here. It's really good. This is where we get the train apparently for about an hour and a half back down the mountain to camp.
and called uh, Fitzroy. It's Roy Island. This is our last day trip in Cairns and we're on Fitzroy Island. It's only a 45 minute trip on the ferry across here and it's absolutely beautiful. Snorkeling here is actually better than uh, Grand Island. You only need to go a little bit from the beach and you can see heaps of big rainbow colors. Uh, kind of remote day out, picnicking by one of the most beautiful tropical beaches in the world. Yeah. 